Hi guys, uh, my brother-in-law gave me this television simply because he knows I like to tinker with things. Uh, after doing, it's a, it's a Samsung 50 inch DLP, which is a, it's a, what, it's a type of projection television, of course, for a while they were a hot ticket item, and then, uh, truthfully, I don't know it for a fact, but I think they're kind of prone to maintenance issues, so, uh, of course, that's, that's not what people want. Uh, but there are easy fixes for them, and I've noticed a lot of these televisions now on uh, Craigslist and even eBay sell for as little as two, three hundred bucks. And nine times out of ten, they simply need a new lamp or they need a col new color wheel. Uh, that's what I'm delving into. Uh, I've checked the lamp, and the lamp seems to be fine, even though the light the light is flashing as we speak. Uh, I'm going to disassemble. Uh, remove the color wheel and, and, and give it an inspection to see. Truthfully, I really don't know what to, <laughs> to expect, but I'm pretty sure it's shattered. Uh, when you when you turn the TV on, you get a, a loud whine. The color in the picture is kind of crappy, uh, considering the fact. I mean, hey, it used to have a beautiful picture. You anyway, know, I'm I'm the purpose of the video is to show you how I can restore it for around a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks, and uh, in which case, if it lasts me a couple of years for that amount of money, it's definitely worth it uh, in my opinion I mean a lot of people might not think so but I've got room for it uh, my brother-in-law uh, I think he was tired of it anyway uh, he uh, got a LED TV which I understand which is what I have in the living room but uh, I thought this would be great so that when my wife is when I when, the, when there's a great football game on or, or basketball and, and I want to watch it and my wife is watching freaking lifetime I can go elsewhere I can come back to the man cave and, and watch what I want. But let's let's give it a see if it will cut on. I think it's warming up is the reason it's doing that. It's been outside, so we'll let it warm up a little more and then I'll see if see if it won't uh, turn on. So anyway, this is uh when you have a bad color wheel or what my di my diagnosis as of right now is it is that it has a bad color wheel. And uh this is what to expect. I don't have it hooked up to a video source, so you're not going to get a picture. The picture's crappy, though, I will say that. But it's very distinctive in the, in the sound that it makes. When you, when you turn it on, pretty much sounds like a jet plane uh, preparing to take off. There's a rattle in the, uh, the cabinet. So it gives you an idea. You, uh, Everything I've read has stated that that's a definite sign of a, as the, as the pitch gets higher and higher, that that is the color wheel which is going bad. Okay, now I'm working on disassembly. All the screws on the back panel have to come out, of course, and uh, this is the, the the lamp housing is. It's coming out. And what I've done is I'm putting all the screws in bags because I, it's probably going to be a week before I can get the part in. But I want to take it apart and, and familiarize myself with uh, the internals on this burger because I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> and these are the uh, I have to be really meticulous as to labeling things and may even take some photographs. Uh, put those in a drawer. And this is the lamp housing. I wish it was just a lamp. That's what I was hoping for. But uh, And one thing, if you guys take the back off of it and you try to power it up, this is a little safety switch that keeps the lamp from coming on when it's off. It won't come on unless it's held down. And it's held down by this. That's how you know how to reassemble this. Not a problem. Okay, we have five screws in this bad boy we have to take out. Okay, step two, we remove the DVI connection or cable. Uh, and it's my understanding you need to be really careful with these because these are made out of soft plastic and they can break. And we do not want that. And those of you watching who are having a heart attack at my 
electronics skills. Trust me, I know I suck at it. <laughs> this is just the best I can do, and we're. Uh, I'm only doing this as a hobby. <laughs> this is not what I do for a living. Trust me. Okay, now we've disconnected the DVI successfully. Now we remove these three screws, which are the uh, I'm not sure what they are. Something assembly. And Chris, I don't really well. Okay, these are all the same, so we're going to put those in their own bag and move on to the next step. Alright, we have one more screw at the base, and I think the uh, engine assembly is ready to remove. This, I assume the whole thing is the engine assembly. But, we'll, we shall see. Okay, I've removed the uh, screws that hold the engine assembly in and loosened it up. And now we simply have to remove the assembly. And I'm not sure if that's going to be as simple as, <laughs> as I uh, try to make it sound. It should just slide right out. I have to be careful for the ribbon connectors. I don't know if I should unplug them or not, to be honest. Uh, if there's there's room for them to to go I'm not going to unplug them if there's room for them to come out that is where I can to, be careful of the overhead cables getting hung on stuff and I have to be real careful because I am yeah, rough on things all right come on darling hmm. We're hung on something. Mm. Oh, let's see. Hung on. <laughs> okay, the cable holder actually is what that is. If I can. How do I go by that booger? Oh, I see. You have to pinch it. That. Okay, that little booger had to come out because it was in the way. All right, and overhead cables be diligent. I, I have no idea the technical terms for any of these, so uh, I'm not going to pretend that I know. Mm, that's going to be unplugged. Okay. Mm, I hate. I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to. I thought that it would be long enough, but obviously it's not long enough. So this cable, don't know what it goes to, but obviously it's got to come unplugged. Mm. I'm sure it won't be the first thing to come unplugged. There we go. All right, unplug that now, and the ribbon cable is obviously going to have to be unplugged. This one. I hate doing these things. I'm always afraid I'm going to rip them. Let's see, maybe I believe I can. Yes. For the time being, anyway. I don't know, it may have to. Regardless, it's taking TV as far back as she'll go. Come on, darling. Come on, sweetheart, you know you want to. Ooh, well, I have to be really careful. Yeah, that's going to have to be removed. Be right back, guys. All right, it took me a little bit, but I was able to finally get the ribbon cable uh, disconnected from here. Uh, these little things always give me a fit because I'm, they're, they seem delicate to me, and I'm, I'm very afraid that I'll, I'll pull one of the wires out and screw it up, in which case... 
uh, unless you're a technician, which I am not, by the way, if I uh, haven't said that a dozen times already. <laughs> um, all right, now we take the engine assembly housing out. And this is what she looks like so far. Kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to look, look into it, but there's a little bit of dust on the lens here, and I'm assuming that that, of course, is going to uh, degrade the, uh, the, the, the picture. So I'm going to uh, make sure that I, I, everything is cleaned out. There's a little bit of dust, well, su substantial amount of dust around the cables and the heat sink here. And while, while all this is out, I'm going to make sure that it's spotless. Okay, I've got one more ribbon cable here with a, uh, I, I, seems like to be a magnetic shield I, that I've removed. I've loosened it with my screwdriver. Okay. So now we are, the uh, assembly is completely removed. Uh, some more some more things that need to be unhooked or oh shit it's already come unhooked and I don't know where it was hooked up at <laughs> shit shit well it had to be on this side somewhere damn it Okay, I removed three base screws here, here, and here. The fan assembly that, uh, I guess it's the, the housing to the color wheel, can be just slipped to the side. I'm pretty sure that I can now access the color wheel by one screw. There should be two, there's two screws, and uh, I think I, the terminal, the uh, connections, I have two connectors that I have to take from the DMD board, or have to, to, to uh, just unplug from the DMD board. And then I should be able to pull the housing out. We'll see. Okay. Okay, there were two Torx head screws, which I, well, I was able to remove them with a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Here, which is the back, and uh, right under the ribbon cable at the top, which would be the front. Okay, I turned the uh, assembly back around, and I have these two here and here ribbon cables that uh, that scare me uh, they're they're connected to the uh, the color wheel of course and they're they, they appear very fragile so it's very important to uh, to take note of how they are hooked and very important to be very careful because they look delicate and I'm sure they are okay I'm going to try tweezers. Unfortunately my vision is not the best so I can't really see that there's any kind of lock and grabbing them by the wires is not the way to go. I know that. Mm, and that damn ribbon. <clears throat> okay I pulled the uh, the ribbon up. It's fairly simple to pull. You should use tweezers to pull it. But it's important to remember it goes the same goes in the same way. So I'm marking the front side of it, knowing that that will be the side that goes in. I, I don't know if that's necessary, but better safe than sorry. And this is the uh, well, not the end result, but uh, after uh, disassembling the uh, color wheel, this is what I get. Uh, it's a shattered color wheel. If you see, there's a missing part. It's not completely exploded. I've heard of some that completely explode. So that appears to be definitely the problem, which is what I, I thought to begin with. Uh, now, before 
attempting to reinstall or anything there 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 should be shards of yes there they are shards of glass in there we want to vacuum and clean those out really nice and neat and good and something else i'm going to look into and that is the lens itself here has a little bit of dust on it and i'm I, truthfully i'm afraid to touch it so i want to i want to make sure that it's okay i'm sure it is to clean it off real good uh then i will order this part it's uh, less than ninety dollars, eighty-six bucks, and with after shipping, plan on spending around a hundred bucks. But uh, disassembly wasn't that bad. I just hope reassembly's not uh, <laughs> not a uh, nightmare. I don't think it will be because I'm recording all my steps and uh, and writing down where everything goes. So we'll see. Not. Uh, I just wonder why so strange that this part you know, eight years and I'm, I'm sorry a TV should last a television should last longer than eight years and this one's had lamps two lamps put in it uh, the, I did test the lamp out the lamp is perfect I mean it's bright and so that's that's why I, I thought well it's got to be the color wheel because it's making such a such a horrendous racket you can order the wheel itself but I'm just I'm afraid to order just the wheel. I want the wheel and the assembly, the attachments, and all that good, all the goodies that come with it. So uh, that makes sense to me. Wow. Okay, for the next uh, several days, I'm going to practice taking the the uh, assembly out and in and out and in. All that good stuff to, to, to familiarize myself with how far it has to, to raise up in here in order to, to clear this uh, part of the chassis or whatever. Uh, also, the, uh, the broken color wheel, I'll practice several times repeatedly putting it in and out because uh, I've noticed that it's very tight fit. And the color wheel is fragile so uh, I have to know exactly how to position the color wheel in order to slide it down gently without uh, putting any pressure on the glass itself other than that uh, I think I can do it we'll see uh, I should be getting the uh, color wheel in in the next week or so uh, and we'll, we'll see where, where it goes from there if, there, if there's enough uh, enough of a response to this video of course I will I will uh, make a video of reinstalling this will simply just to for disassembly purposes and uh, because I've looked everywhere and there's just not that much information or not that many videos or maybe I was looking in the wrong spot but now everything is pretty straightforward as far as where it goes and how it connects and all that good stuff so uh, I think I can do it we'll see Thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, as soon as, I, as soon as the part comes in, we'll uh, we'll get to assembling. Thanks. Bye.